on infinity. It's your girl Yvonne and I'm back with another video. So today I will be telling you Before I get into the story guys, if you know if you know <laughs> if you know that you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe right now because I have loads of bangers. Like I will be giving you guys loads of bangers back to back. For the rest of 2020 so make sure you subscribe now back to the topic of the day tinder we all know what tinder is most of us anyway know what tinder is tinder is like a social network for dating and uh, networking and all that um my interest in tinder was heightened when i read an article on the daily mail I read this article and really um, it heightened my interest I got because I had always known about tinder yeah but I wasn't really interested in it because I'm not I'm not so much of a social person so but this time I just decided you know what let's just try it you know I could as well network and meet new people you know so I downloaded the app and then I you know put in the necessary information and few minutes later I was swiping away and now I'm going to tell you guys about the first creepy Tinder experience you know we matched and then I matched with this guy and he was all right he was cool and uh, he was learned and he also claimed to be doing like pretty well in his line of work you know and then he also loved dogs and i'm a dog lover as well so that was like a plus and we got talking he was always telling me like in our cupboard <coughs> sorry <guys. coughs> in our conversations he'll tell me how he's taking care of his dogs you know how and then the funny he actually had like he actually had seven dogs guys seven dogs so that's quite fascinating for me um and they were all big dogs so like he'll tell me how he took care of his dogs and how you know he left his dogs and this and that you know all those stories and you know our conversations went quite well until one day when he asked me a question he was like Yvonne and I'm like yes he's like do you know what I like about do you know one of the things I like about you and I'm like, yeah, he's like, your skin. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And then he goes, I look at your picture and then I'm like, no, I look at your picture and then I wish I could wear your beautiful skin. I will not forget those words, but those words still haunt me to this day. <laughs> Guys, don't mind me, but like, I won't forget. Like, how can, what, what, what the hell is that? What is that? like no he said he wishes he could wear my beautiful skin no he didn't say skin guys he didn't say skin he said flesh he wishes he could wear my beautiful flesh 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 that is what got me scared like that is what creeped me out guys he wishes he could wear my flesh who says that like it was so graphic in my head guys i just imagined like i had never met him yet yeah, but like from his picture yeah i just imagined someone with his face trying to skin people alive and and where like who knows what if that's what he had in mind guys that was creepy it's like i wish i could wear your beautiful flesh like guys that was just insane like no 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 it was crazy guys it was crazy i just wrote lol and 
like I waited for about two hours and then I just unmatched him I unmatched him guys and I went ahead apart from unmatching yeah oh yeah I reported him hoping that because I don't know I really don't know how tinder works there was no block button so I just clicked on the report hoping that they would never bring him my way again in the process of swiping and I've never seen him so I'm happy about that guys I want you to do something for me I want you to comment down below please if you were the one in my shoes yeah if somebody told you he wanted to wear your flesh as a girl and then as a guy yeah if a girl told you she wanted to wear your flesh how will you respond how will you react just let me know in the comment section thank you <laughs> on to the next tinder experience guys I need to have a drink for this a moment of silence guys he was a really sweet guy you know he seemed he seemed really sweet anyway and uh, he seemed really well mannered he seemed quite well mannered and you know he was all right he was all right and uh, also he seemed to be a pretty good christian because he was always you know relating stuff to the bible and all that in our conversations and um yeah our conversations went pretty well and we got talking exchanged numbers we continued chatting we never had any video calls or whatsoever but like we we had like regular phone calls and texts and all that and do you know that from the moment i gave this boy my number i gave this man this fine young man my number every morning he would wake me up with a motivational text or motivational message and prayers like guys how nice is that how thoughtful is that guys if i i used to fall for people so easily yeah i'll fall for him because like like what like god oh my god like he was nice he was good looking he used to pray for me guys he'll send prayers he'll encourage me guys and you know as time went by he requested we should you know he requested for us to meet and i agreed and we um you know we met somewhere we met at a restaurant and while when i got there yeah i don't know the story is actually funny i got there and obviously girls you have to be careful when you're meeting people for the first time you have to be really cautious because you know you never can tell anyway that's not the point he was a nice person like he seemed all right anyway i i I got to the restaurant and then I had to climb the stairs so when I got to the stairs luckily yeah, when you're by the stairs you could actually see you know everywhere so you could see people that are seated at the restaurant so I was looking out for him well then I called him I was trying to look for you know somebody who was going to answer the calls just to make sure he wasn't catfishing or you know there wasn't some I don't know weird play going on so he answered it was him so you know i went ahead i sat down you know we ordered something we got talking yeah well you know we were having conversations and it was all right you know i actually enjoyed our conversations guys i actually enjoyed the conversations until he went do you know that you're going to be my wife Oh hell no! At first, I thought like he was just kidding, you know, guys, how they talk and all that. Like he was maybe he was trying to flatter me or something. So I just laughed. I'm like, oh, please stop kidding, and then you know, like stop joking, all this kind of stuff. And then I was trying to change the topic, and then he was like, I'm serious, and I'm like, how? Like how so? I was still smiling, you know. I thought we were joking. I thought he was on the same page as I was, but unfortunately, he wasn't. 
so this guy goes on and he says that he had a dream or something no he said he said his birthday was not long ago yeah and on the night of his birthday on his birthday night he he said a prayer to god and and you know asked god for what he wanted and then god told him he was going to give him a wife he said he wanted somebody he wanted a wife and he said that god said he was going to give him a wife and he had a dream and he didn't see my face but he saw a light-skinned girl with my physic house and then he said when he was on tinder he said something told him to go on tinder and then he was swiping and he came across my picture and then something said she's the one she's the one <laughs> guys i don't know i don't want to i hope i don't sound silly saying this because it's actually funny i'm saying what he told me he said something said she's the one she's the one and then he was like oh okay <laughs> and then he decided to match knowing that i was also going to swipe right and we were going to connect and i'm like okay and then he said um he knows it's a lot for me but i'm going to come around that's how he said it he was like i know it's a lot for you yeah but you're, you're going to come around like he was so confident like the way he was talking but you know while all this was going on in my mind i'm like i thought you were normal i thought you were normal <laughs> guys like it's obvious he probably had a knot loose in his head or something like it was it was crazy guys i was actually ordering an uber while all this was going on you know and i was patiently waiting for the uber to arrive while i was listening to all his i don't want to call it bullshit, but like i was listening to his fairy tales guys I, I just kept listening and then i'm like are you serious are you serious i decide to meet somebody from tinder and this is what happens really anyway guys anyway he just kept talking and then like that's not even the i haven't even gotten to the creepy part the creepiest part he went ahead to say that he already got the wedding ring guys he said it was in his pocket guys it was in his pocket sorry about the noise guys um they're trying to work on the um generator outside anyway guys he said he had a ring with him and he's like don't worry i'm not going to show you i'm going to show you when it's time like i was even interested guys like i was even interested and then i just i just had to smile obviously because of someone like that is not normal he could be a stalker he could be a serial killer who knows so you know i just acted like i was cool i was going along with you know everything he was saying but in my mind i'm like oh my god oh my god god save me <laughs> like it was crazy and then you know luckily the uber arrived and then i told him oh i actually i told him that the uber that i have to go down because you know time has been going and my uber driver has been waiting for me i didn't tell him i ordered i got a new uber i told him the uber has been waiting and he's like oh my god you didn't tell me i thought i could take you home i'm like no no i don't want you to take me home you freak i don't have a bad mouth i don't have a foul mouth only when necessary <laughs> but i'm not going i laughed anyway i didn't say it that way to be honest i was laughing and then i'm like i am good i'm going to go with my own uber and do you know this guy kept insisting and insisting and insisting i was almost like almost i almost lost it but i just had to compose myself like and then finally he's like okay fine no problem let me just walk you to the car and i'm like oh fine no problems and then this guy gets into his car and uh well he walked me to the car i got into the car and 
he got into his own car by the way i didn't even i lost my appetite when you know he started saying all those things he was saying so i didn't even eat like i <laughs> i didn't even eat i probably had like just two spoons and then that was it so i got into the car and then i left and do you guys know that this guy followed me he followed me guys he followed me every turn we took every stop we made this guy made this freaking guy made guys you know what let me give you his instagram handle so you go check him out here yeah? his instagram handle is did you guys think i was really going to give you i'm not that evil guys but like really he kept following and then i just had to tell the driver yeah i told him you know what happened and then i told him to keep turning and turning i told him i wasn't going home anymore and you know that was what he kept doing he that's what he did he kept turning and you know turning and making turns and turns and you know until we finally lost him and you know that was when i could finally go home and do you know that throughout that night this guy this freaking guy kept calling me he called and called and called i put my phone on the silent profile i woke up to 236 missed calls guys boom Ooh. bam oh. bop bada bop boom pow oh! 236 freaking missed calls sorry guys but like i'm just it's it's upsetting 236 missed calls like immediately i went straight to my options and i touched i clicked i i hit the block button i went ahead to facebook because we were friends on facebook by the way i didn't even give this man my facebook handle you know i thought he was all right so when he told me he searched for me on facebook and sent me a friend request i you know accepted so anyway i went back and i unfriended him and unfollowed him and then blocked him and i went ahead to search for him on instagram guys we were not friends on instagram but i just did it just in case i searched for him on instagram and i blocked him so like i blocked him on all platforms and that was it that was it guys that was it that was the end guys please comment down below yeah if you were the one in my shoes whether as a guy or as a girl yeah if you were in my shoes what would you do how will you react if you had someone like this telling you all this all these things this guy told me what will you tell him how will you react like oh my god The last and final Tinder experience I'll be telling you guys about now was with a girl. So, you know, I swiped because um, I told you I was on the app to network, nothing, meet people, make friends and all that. So back to what I was saying, I matched with this girl who was quite pretty, seemed all right, seemed pretty cool. We went along pretty well. You know our conversations were flowing quite well and um this girl hit me up here yeah, on tinder and then she was like i'd like you to meet someone this is somebody i had never met she hit me up and she was like um could you come over to so 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 hotel to hang out with me and my friend and i'm like like in my mind i'm like where's this coming from because we've actually never met we haven't even discussed meeting yet we never discussed meeting and then she's like hang out with i and my friend and i'm like no like i don't even i wouldn't even go to hotels you know for a first meeting with anyone and this girl said you could just come we're not going to bite we're not going to bite 
he's actually really nice and I told him about you I told him how close we were I told him how close we are and he says he'd like to meet you and in my mind I'm like And I'm like, you told him we were a friend. You told him how close we were. And he says he wants to meet me in a hotel. I actually asked her, like I asked her, I'm like, you told him we were close. And he requested to meet me. And you actually picked your phone up and then had to, you, like you sent me a text asking me to come like what the hell do you take me for what do you take me for really and then she was like just come don't disappoint me like i already told him we're very good friends and now it's going to look like and in my mind i'm like girl i don't even know you we're just talking you're not my friends you're my acquaintance like i don't know you like that's just crazy is that how people like people are really funny guys people are funny i really don't know why else she would hit me up to come to a hotel to see her and her friend and she probably thought i was stupid i was you know i was stupid because like what normal thinking person will actually do that i know some people do that anyway but like not me not me not me guys not me <laughs> anyway any way you guys if you have had any like if any of you have had any like weird or creepy or i don't know memorable tinder experiences yeah please just let me know in the comment section so we could just have a few laughs about it like just let me know let me know let me know in the comment section and if you made it to the end of this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't done that already also if there's any video you'd like me to make or if there's anything you'd like me to talk about do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section and if it's doable i'll get right to it <sighs> That's all for today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.